Hey guys, Pastor Tanner here coming at you with another Logos video. In this video, I want to talk about pericope sets or what preaching block or preaching unit you're selecting. This week, I started to go through John chapter 6 and I was trying to figure out what I'm going to preach on. Man, John chapter 6 has a ton of dialogue. Do I want to take 30 or 40 verses at a time? Am I able to break it up in little 8 verse segments? In this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of tools in Logos Bible software to help you decide just that. Now, it should go without saying that this video is for those people who do not have a lectionary tradition that they're preaching out of. If you do, your text is selected for you. Just open up your relevant lectionary from your tradition and you're good to go. However, if you're coming from a tradition where your text is not really selected in advance, you might have some trouble deciding how many verses you want to preach on. The first tool that I like to use in this regard is called the passage analysis. If you click on this little nine dot waffle, whatever you want to call this thing, and you type in passage, you'll see the passage analysis. And when you bring it up, it looks like this. I select compare pericopes down at the bottom. And now you can see how all of your different translations that you have pulled up actually break down the text. You can see some break them at different verses, but this information is going to be helpful for you because it might help you to select how many verses you want to preach. If you want to reference different versions, just click this drop down arrow, pericope sets, and you can select any of your different translations here. You can add in more, you can take some out, all depending upon your preferences. Again, these are just nice quick comparisons, and you can see where many passages are being broken down by the translations. Now, in the past, the passage analysis was all that I used in order to do this work. But a viewer tipped me off to a tool that I was not utilizing, and it's called the Bible Outline Browser. Once I started playing around with the Bible Outline Browser, I thought that it supplements the passage analysis perfectly. Let me show you. Now, there's two separate views for the Bible Outline Browser. The one I really like for this purposes is the compare view. This is different than the read view. The read view kind of gives you things roughly like an outline and as you're walking through you might have a decent idea of how the text is broken down but the compare view does this visually and I think it is excellent so here is the compare view you can see that it has many many resources that are built into here the compare view lets you see just like the passage analysis but it's pulling outlines from many other sources including many of your commentaries not just your translations now some of these resources are a variable help some of them aren't going to do much for you but there are other ones that are absolute gold mines to see in this visual laid out format. You're essentially looking at an outline, but you can see it visually. I love the Outline Bible for this resource. If you look at the Outline Bible, you can see that there are several stages where it breaks it down into finer and finer detail. You can look at the individual verses that it references, and you can decide for yourself the level of depth you want to treat each section. It's perfect for this, and you can see as it stages and layers these, it's going to help you make really good decisions surrounding your pericope. So that's it. That's the resource. If you dig into this resource and use the passage analysis as well, you're going to see the the common breaks that people take in the text and that's going to help you decide what you want to preach now let me show you a handful of resources here at the end that really empowers this bible outline browser tool if you own these resources i think that they have some of the best outlines built into them so that you're going to get the most bang for your buck now i already mentioned the outline bible this is put together by harold wilmington this is billed as the most comprehensive outline of the bible and i think it's correct especially as this tool uses it i love H.L. Wilmington's Outline Bible, I think it's a staple for this resource. If you look into this resource, you can see that the outlines that it has built out are very detailed. It points out a lot about every single individual verse almost. It's fantastic. And the way this resource translates into that visual layout in the Bible Outline Browser is great. However, if you're interested in supplementing the Outline Bible, I have three other resources that I think are really good, top tier, but they're a little pricier. And then I have a handful of resources that are a little bit cheaper, and you'd be surprised at how good those outlines are. First, I want to point out the John Phillips expository commentary set. I think these are a little more expensive to acquire. I remember when I was trying to get them that I kind of had to save up a little bit in order to grab them. But these are really good, especially as they translate into the Bible outline browser. You see, if you're walking through, it's just a normal commentary. But if you get into this resource in the browser itself, you will see that it has many layers to the outline. Really valuable, super helpful. I think you're going to like this one a lot. Speaking of expensive options, the Preacher's Outline and Sermon Bible 
Here, the KJV version, I believe, in Logos. This resource is put out by Leadership Ministries Worldwide. I really like this resource. I like what they do here. I like how they build the outlines themselves. And again, it comes across in that visual layout in a very nice way. I remember when I wanted to get this one, it was kind of pricey, and it probably still is. But don't fret. We have a few other resources, I think, that are really helpful and more affordable. Todd Scasewater's Discourse Analysis of New Testament Writings was very good. I love his outlines. They're detailed. They're in-depth. He has multiple layers. This one comes across very nice. Now a few lesser known options, at least when it comes to outlines. David Guzik's commentaries are actually excellent for multiple reasons. I love his focus on application. And if you were to read through this commentary, you would see it's just broken down like a normal commentary. What are you talking about? But again, you come over to the browser and you can see that Guzik's got a pretty good outline here. It's got decent level of depth, especially since this commentary is so good from an application front anyway. One that I very much did not expect was Stats Bible Books. He has both New Testament and Old Testament put together by Gary Stats. Look how good this outline is, and it comes across so nicely in the browser. This outline is excellent. If you don't have Gary Stats work, just for outlines alone, it might be worth it. Finally, guys, you're going to find some individual commentaries that actually translate pretty well. HDM Spence, this is a relatively older commentary, and I found it pretty valuable here in the Gospel of John. Maybe variable across other books, but it was working for me here. I really enjoyed it. Also on the Gospel of John, Beaufort and Krauss, they have an excellent outline that comes across really well. Again, multiple layers of depth. That helps out a lot when you're trying to select your pericope. Now, I would recommend you get one or two of the resources that I identified as being good across the board and then supplement with various commentaries that you see having value in the browser itself. So that's it, guys, for this video. I hope that was helpful for you. I know I'm going to have a much easier time grabbing my pericopes and selecting my preaching passages now that I know about these tools. I hope they're helpful for you as well. Thank you so much for supporting us here on the Pastor Tanner YouTube channel. Please utilize our link for Logos. That gives me a small commission. Also, please consider supporting us on Patreon, trying to build a long-term ministry here. Thanks for all your love and support. Take care. God bless.